Hi Aries, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 3rd to the 9th of February. And I'm using the Enchanted Dreams Tarot, the Metatron cards and the um, Angel Reading cards and the Witch's Oracle deck. And it is amazing how they work together. So, if you're new, a welcome to the channel, and if you join us in the live session, as I go live every day, and give out free cards, you'll become a cyber babe, and get your own, or cyber angel, you'll get your, your wings. Okay, I hope to see you there, and please share with family and friends, and give us the thumbs up, in order to support this channel. Thank you. And I've been hearing that people have been uh, deleted on channels uh, if they do not become a member. Apparently, viewers from uh, other uh, readers have been uh, writing to their favorite readers and saying so. So please make sure that you are a member. If you don't want to be notified, then just don't hit the bell. If you do want to be notified, hit that bell. But please become a member, you're more than welcome. On Monday, Aries, because this is your reading, you have the Three of Cups. You are celebrating. If you're not celebrating, make your own party. You don't need an, any excuse to make a party and enjoy yourself. Get some friends together and have a film marathon or just go out to dinner with friends and celebrate just that it is a new month, a new day in your life. Life is precious and so is time and friends. Then we have silver and silver uh, is a warrior of light. Metatron is calling upon you to protect friends and enjoy yourself but mainly to protect others and mainly friends and family with a pure and beautiful heart. The sword was used in fights uh, earlier but now it is a symbol of, of protection like the sword of Michael and the sword of Metatron. You've got 30 so that means creativity. You are creative. And this is a three, so you've got a double number. The angels are with you, especially Metatron. So be that warrior of light. Bring light to others and celebrate. You do not need an excuse to celebrate, to come together. Then midweek you have the hermit. It is time to sit back or take time out and take a midweek trip with friends or family. And celebrate, and celebrate that. Okay, um, it is a hermit means sitting quietly and meditate or just sit quietly taking 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night to rejuvenate, rejuvenate yourself and also replenish yourself with new ideas. Listen to the ideas that come up in you or what your um, intuition is telling you, what you could or how you could act or do uh, things in the day. And throw away the useless things that are of no use anymore. So evaluate as well. Beautiful. With the Hermit card, you have the Dimensional Gateway. An invitation. 33. You've got 33 three here and you've got 33 three there. So you're definitely in balance because it is a 6. So you start off the week with balance and you have 33. That is balance. And um, there is an end coming to a situation or an issue as you have a 9, the hermit. Okay, I've lost something. 
I try to go deeper into the cards the longer um, I'm doing longer videos, then you have also more time. Don't forget that a friend could be a Virgo because the hermit also represents the Queen of Wands. Oh, sorry, the hermit is Virgo. Um, that, so you might be meeting a Virgo or um, you might be meeting the Queen of Wands. If it is a lady, it could be the Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. So you are in your element and like I said, you're back in balance. Or it could be a Virgo that you're meeting as well. Um, the, <clears throat> the Hermit card. There's a, a couple of cards in the deck that have or represent two different um, elements or persons. At the end of the week, you've got perspective, and that is the hanged man. You can see the girl hanging from the clock. It is time to take action. It is time to know what you're worth and who your friends are. It is time that you get a different perspective. Um, the ideas from other people could also have a positive influence on your life and that your perspective can help others, especially if you take time out to meditate. So you've got two sp uh, spiritual cards. The hand man means also delays because um, or in suspension. Uh, the hand man, uh, the original traditional meaning is it was God in that was a man that was bored and he just wanted to do meditation and do it in a different uh, position or situation. So he hung himself upside down and he uh, stayed there for six weeks or six months. I don't know the, 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 the depth of it, but that's what uh, I have read in the past a couple of years ago. Uh, because I just do love the meaning of tarot. So anyway, something might be suspended uh, for four hours, four days, four weeks. And it's with the traditional tarot, you can see there is a four by the form of the legs. But this lady is like a pole dancer. She's got her legs wrapped around the uh, pendulum of the clock. Uh, beautifully depicted. Okay, so take time out to evaluate. That is the big message here, uh, Aries. Take time out to uh, get ideas, listen to your ideas. So, I'm writing that down for the title. Take time out. Time, uh, take your time. So you might be also sensitive at the moment uh, emotionally and to the spirit world because you are deciding what, which way you're going and what you're going to do. That's why there might be a forced delay. Okay, so the, we have the Metatron card number seven, luck, water emotional well-being like I said you might be emotionally sensitive spiritually heightened that is what the hermit and the um, hand man means and you take time out your ideas develop your ideas and put and when they come to a good point and through evaluation then put it into action brilliant and that will happen on Friday or around the end of the week. There could be somebody sneaky so perhaps you're thinking about how to cope with that person or that situation. Some sneaky things that are things that are not happening. Uh, it's usually somebody that does not want to confront you. So it could be an other queen of wands, a lady or a um, it could be a Virgo. Um, that is um, 
causing this delay because of their, their actions or behavior. Seven of Swords means that somebody is sneaky. Perhaps they don't want to talk to you or see you because of, of a confrontation, an idea or your perspective. Then we've got number 13. A lot of people are scared of 13, but in the I Ching it means fellowship, friends, friendship. So there is something with a friendship. And air, you've got air, fly free. Spread your wings, take action at the weekend, fly free, spread your wings like the seagull or the eagle. I think it's a seagull. And polish your facets. And that is what you do through meditation. You polish up everything um, and cross your dot T's and dot your I's. Wow, amazing. The overall energy is the two of cups so you're coming from the two to the three so you are finding your balance back okay you're finding your balance back brilliant seven seven so luck is on your side my darling uh, don't worry about that you're getting your balance back you might meet your soulmate this week is the overall energy the two of cups emotional balance i already said you might be very sensitive this week so don't um avoid confrontation but don't be sneaky perhaps it could be you instead of somebody else okay So what you need to do is take time out so that your plans can come to fruition and that you can become, uh, get into your balance again and have a different perspective on friendships. Perhaps um, a different perspective means that a friendship will evolve to a relationship. Amazing. And you've got Angel of Creativity. The creativity within you flows with ease. And it does if you take time out and think about your ideas. You have received this card because your angel of creativity wants to make her presence known to you. Have you recently been asking for assistance from above to help guide you, inspire and encourage you with any creative endeavors? If this is the case, your angel of creativity is here to be of assistance. Sometimes when you are working on cre creative ideas, your mind can become blocked with self-doubt, fear, lack of confidence about your creative gifts. Your angel of creativity wants you to know that you possess everything you need to achieve the creative endeavor you are currently working on. If in doubt, ask your angel of creativity to give you inspiration about your projects. If you are working on a piece of art, visualize your angel of creativity guiding your hand to paint and draw and inspire you to finalize your work. If you are writing a book, poetry, music, piece of something else, or even a letter to a loved one, visualize your angel of creativity standing by your side, assisting you to find the right words. So take your time to write that letter of love, perhaps getting ready for Valentine because next week it's going to be Valentine. So think about what you're going to do if you want to surprise somebody with a Valentine's gift or card or letter. And then we go on to the chalices, the chalices from the um, Witch's Oracle deck, the chalice. The fourth of the major tools of the magic in is the chalice. This vessel may be used 
for everyday drinking but is usually reserved for occasions when it is felt necessary to pour lib libations to the gods, thanks in other words, or similar ritual use. A chalice can serve multiple purposes. It can be used as a focal point for meditation and when you hold a chalice in both hands at eye level it creates an atmosphere of magic. It's also when you are celebrating something of being together for example cheers, wishing good luck. Chalices are filled with liquid. Liquid holds no shape and is in a constant state of change. Emotions are like water and are constantly changing from moment to moment. Emotionally, you've been sloshing around and coming very close to spilling over. It's time to steady yourself so that you can carry on and do all the things those things that need to be done, like being creative, asking your angel for help, to, <clears throat> to listen to your intuition and your ideas, to get them done, put it into action. How beautiful is this, that you've got the chalice, chalice, uh, chalice and we've talked about emotions and celebrations. The stone or the gemstone or the crystal you can use is for meditation or to wear or to uh, to wear with you is aquamarine is the quint, quint essential stone of water element it helps to bring clarity and movement to mind and emotions work with the aquamarine when you seek greater mental emotional balance the incantation that you can say when meditating both feet planted on the ground, there is no need to flop around. Calm and balanced will be the way to welcome in each brand new day. So don't be floppy and sloppy. And I've got a couple of crystals here. This is pure crystal and it's nice to hold them, to feel them, to play in with them and your energy will go into them and their energy will come back to you. And that's, and I've got my angel, which I had from, given to me by Brenda, and she's holding the world. I don't know whether you can see. And I carry her with me and I come back home and I put her on my little tray where all my charms are, my Buddhas, my angels, my robin, my holy bird, and my stones. And you can, when you meditate, you can, you can just feel, and feel the energy, and I'm feeling the angel. I know the angels are with me. It's something to hold on to, to focus on. When you hold something and you feel it, you can focus on it much better. So just use your stone or your charm when you meditate. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, um, Aries, and I hope to see you in the life and get to know you. There's also Super Chat and Super Stickers available for specific questions. And if that, and I will answer that with four cards, three cards and an Oracle card um, of my choice. And if you would like an extended reading, you can find the email address below in the subscription box. And take care and be blessed. And remember, together we stand strong. So don't hesitate to, con to, to connect with us in the tea room or with me through email. Take care and be blessed and I'll see you later. Remember, give us the thumbs up and please share and like. Thank you.